Imagine the worst possible nightmare of the Secret Service, an attack on the President of the United States while on the move. Picture this, a bomb, concealed beneath a nondescript manhole cover, primed to explode at the mere press of a remote button. A presidential motorcade, oblivious to the impending danger approaches. Simultaneously, a sniper, shrouded in shadows, prepares to strike from a discreet location. And as if this wasn't enough, further down the road, a seemingly innocent Van Hydes, a man with a rocket launcher, aimed directly at the motor Katie. These threats might sound like they've been lifted from a Hollywood blockbuster, but they serve to illustrate the very real dangers that the Secret Service must anticipate and prepare for during presidential travel. These scenarios, while purely fictional, highlight the extensive security measures employed by the Secret Service to protect the president. As the motorcade approaches the hidden bomb, the first line of defense comes into play. The electronic countermeasure Suburban, a marvel of modern technology, emits radio frequencies that disrupt the bomb's activation signal. This technique, known as barrage jamming, effectively neutralizes the hidden threat. Now, let's talk about the sniper, the presidential limousine, affectionately known as the Beast, along with its identical twin, serve as the president's shield, they confuse and misdirect potential threats, making it a guessing game for anyone aiming at the president. Over the years, these limousines have seen significant security upgrades. From bulletproof glass to titanium armor, they now resemble tanks more than cars, fortifying the safety of the president. These countermeasures, impressive as they are, form only part of the intricate security web spun around the president. Threats, both seen and unseen, are constantly being identified assessed, and neutralized. Yet, even with these advanced countermeasures, threats continue to loom. A short distance away, another threat awaits, a van equipped with a rocket launcher. Here lies the final hurdle, the last test of the presidential motorcade's security measures, and it's a formidable one. But, as always, the motorcade is prepared. In response, the limousine and the countermeasure vehicle deploy smoke grenades, vanishing into a thick veil of smoke. This impromptu fog bank, swirling and billowing around the vehicles, makes targeting practically impossible. The motorcade, once visible and exposed, now becomes a ghost, hidden in the mist. But the security doesn't stop there. Beyond the motorcade, Air Force One, the presidential aircraft, is ready to serve as a vital lifeline during times of crisis. It's not just a plane, but a flying fortress, a testament to the lengths we go to protect our leaders. The presidential motorcade, with its fleet of specialized vehicles, embodies a formidable security apparatus, ensuring the president's safety against even the most daunting threats. The presidential motorcade's security measures are far from simple. They involve intricate technology, precise coordination, and unwavering vigilance, all aimed at safeguarding the most powerful person in the free world. From barrage jamming that neutralizes bombs to the beast's tank-like resilience, and even the smokescreen tactics that thwart rocket attacks. The complexity of the protective shield around the president is as awe-inspiring as it is efficient. It's a testament to the tireless efforts of the Secret Service that, despite these worst-case scenarios, the president's safety remains their unbroken promise.